Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. This sequence is great for just a little mood booster, an energy pick-me-up. These poses are gentle but energizing. So if you're feeling just a bit low, if you, uh, maybe it's a gloomy day and you're affected by the weather or maybe just some things are going on in your life that you need to be uplifted, this sequence is something you should definitely try. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for free yoga classes every single week. So if you're ready, grab your yoga mat and let's get started. Begin on your hands and knees, bringing your knees under your hips, your hands under your shoulders, flat, neutral spine. Take an inhale, arch your back, looking up and forward for cow pose. And then on your exhale, round your spine in the opposite direction for cat pose, looking back towards your thighs. Inhale, look up and forward, arching your back for cow pose. Exhale through your nose deeply to round your spine for cat pose once again. Inhale, looking up, spreading your shoulders wide, cow pose. Exhale, curve your spine, rounding it up looking back for cat pose. Continue to move in and out of cat and cow, coordinating one movement with one breath, gently warming the body up from the spine. With each inhale, spread those shoulders wide, come to your cow pose. With each exhale, reach that upper back towards the ceiling for cat pose. Just a few more breaths here. One full and deep breath for one gentle and slow movement. Taking one more inhale and exhale here. And from here, come back to a flat back, neutral spine, and walk your hands about six inches forward. Bring your forehead to the floor, sliding your hands forward even further, and then press your heart center down towards the ground. Open your chest and your armpits towards the floor, and breathe here. Gently lift your head off the ground, come back through your hands and knees, lower yourself to lying on your belly, hands next to your ribs, elbows pointed up, forehead down. On your inhale, lift your head and chest up for a low cobra arch using your upper back muscles. Exhale, lower your head back down. Inhale, lift your head and chest off the ground. Exhale, lower down. Once more, inhale, come back to your arch, open your chest and shoulders. Exhale, lower down. From here, straighten your arms and clasp your hands together at the small of your back. On an inhale, straighten your arms, reach your hands towards your feet and lift your head and chest off the ground. On an exhale, lower your head and chest back down towards the floor. Inhale, lift up once again, using your hands to reach towards your feet. Take an exhale, lower your head back down. Lift up once more, and exhale, lower down. From here, release your hands from the clasp, and come up onto your forearms, pointing your hands forward, coming onto the forearms for Sphinx Pose. From here, looking forward, reach your chest forward between your hands, open your shoulders as wide apart as you can, and hold here in your Sphinx Pose.
gently lower yourself down out of Sphinx and make your way up to standing at the top of your yoga mat if you're using a yoga mat in mountain pose, also known as Tadasana. Bring your feet hips distance apart, parallel to one another, standing up tall. On your inhale, rotate your upper arms around, raise them all the way up. On an exhale, fold over into a forward fold. Bring your hands to the floor and relax your head. Bend your knees if needed. Inhale, look up halfway and exhale, fold back down. On your next inhale, come all the way up to standing, reaching your arms up, looking towards your hands. And then take an exhale and bring your hands down by your sides. Clasp your hands together at the small of your back, straighten your arms, look up and reach your chest up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, rotate your arms up. And then exhale, come to a forward fold, hands to the floor, relax your head. Inhale, look up halfway, straightening the spine, and exhale, fold back down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, release your hands down. Once again, clasp your hands together at the small of your back. Straighten your arms, arch your back, and look up. Exhale, come out of your arch and release your hands. Inhale, raise your arms up once again. Exhale, come down to a forward fold, relax your head over. Inhale, look up halfway, exhale, lower down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing and reach your arms up once again. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Clasp your hands together at the small of your back. Come up into your arch, looking up. And exhale, release your hands down. From here, slowly make your way down to sitting on the ground. Sit up tall in the two sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis and stretch your legs out in front of you. Bend your right leg and cross it over the left. You can keep the left leg straight or bend it in as I'm doing here, bringing your heel in towards your right glute. Wrap your left arm around your right leg. Bring your right arm behind you on an inhale, lengthen your spine, and on an exhale, twist your upper body around to the right. Remain even on both sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis on the ground. With each inhale that you take, lengthen your spine even further. And with each exhale, try and twist just a bit deeper and remain here. Slowly unwind from your twist, coming back to the center, uncross your legs and switch sides. Taking the left leg over the right, you can bend the right leg in as I'm doing here or keep it straight. Wrap your right arm around your left leg, bring your left arm behind you. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, twist around to the left. Remain even on both of your sits bones on the ground. Lengthen your spine each time that you inhale and twist a bit deeper each time that you exhale. Slowly unwind from your twist, come back to the center, and bring your legs to a cross-legged position, flexing your feet under your knees. From here, bring your hands behind you, pointing your fingers back, and then use your hands on the ground to come into a final arch, looking up, opening the chest and shoulders. Take an exhale, release yourself from the arch, and bring your hands to your legs. 
Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, expand your rib cage wide, and release the breath out. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest, bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked it, please hit that like button down below the video. It would really help the channel to grow and be seen by more people. And also let me know if you enjoyed this video and want me to do more like this. Also, let me know in the comments what your favorite pose of this class is. Which pose in particular helped you to feel the most uplifted and energized? I would love to know. I always love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel four free yoga classes every single week. Also visit my website, kriskayoga.com for even more yoga resources on there. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at kriskayoga for yoga motivation and inspiration and behind the scenes of this channel, so much more updates on the Insta story. So definitely head over to Instagram, follow me over there as well. All of the links to everything and more that I mentioned are listed in the description box below this video. Thank you so much. See you next time.